My name's Al and today I'm going to show you how to do something that every self-respecting cyclist should know how to do and that is to fix a puncture. First of all, you've got to remove the wheel from the bike. Makes it easier if you release the brake. So on a Shimano, we do it at the brake. If you've got a Campag group set, you do it at the lever. Uh, on the front wheel, you'll have to back the quick release off a little bit and then the wheel will just come out. We just need a few things to fix a puncture on our tyre. Replace the tube, which is the best way of doing it. Certainly the most reliable. We might need some tyre levers, a little screwdriver, puncture repair kit, a pen, a pump, it's pretty obvious, and a rag or a bit of tissue just to try and feel for whatever it is that's caused the puncture. So it's getting your fingers cut. If it does have some air in, let all the air out completely. So if you back off the little lock nut on your Presta valve, hold that in, that will release any trapped air. If you're going to use tyre levers, you can hook it in place and we're just getting the very tip of the tyre lever and you can use the spoke to anchor the tyre lever in place. Then a few inches along, we do the same until we're able to remove the tyre by running the tyre lever all the way around. Once we've got the bead off, we can pull the tyre back and remove the valve from the rim. Now when we take the tube out, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that it stays orientated. We need to remember that so when we find the hole, we can quickly find the offending object in the tyre. So with our tube still lined up as it was fitted into the tyre, we're going to inflate it. See so if we can find the hole. And just feel for any air rushing out. Our hole here is actually opposite the valve, so clearly marked our tube, so we can repair that later on. Regardless of where it is, is line the valve up with the valve hole in the rim, match your hole up to the tyre. So we've clearly marked our tyre, and straight away you can see you've got a bit of wire caught in there. Pull that out, done it by hand. You might have to use some pliers or get your little screwdriver to pick it out if it's a bit of glass or something. Whilst you're at it, grab your rag and run it around the inside of the tyre. We just check in for anything else that's, that's sharp in there that could cause another puncture. There's no need to remove the tyre all the way. We can leave that bead still in place and now we're ready to fit on YouTube. If when you're looking for your puncture in your inner tube, you find it's on the inner circumference, chances are it's been caused by something on the rim bed. So you might have a problem with your rim tape. Better off taking your tire off and inspecting that rim tape, possibly replacing it. So it's important to check that out and make sure it's all good to fit the new tube. Before we fit a new tube, make sure that any lock ring valve caps are gone. We're just going to give the tube a bit of air, either a stroke of the pump or blow it with your mouth. That's going to help us when it comes to fitting. We're going to line up our logo and we're going to fit our valve like so. Basically what we're doing is feeding the inner tube into the well of the tyre. It needs to fit evenly and you must make sure it's not twisted. Once you're happy, then you can start fitting the bead. As you fit it, be very careful not to trap any part of the tube. You can see here it's popping out, so we need to feed that tube back into the tyre before we fit the bead onto the rim. If we don't, it'll pinch, and when we inflate it, it'll almost definitely explode. So take your time, make sure it's all the way in there. If you are struggling, then you might want to get a tyre lever to help pop the bead onto the rim. It kind of makes sense to use the lever with the hooked end so you can attach it onto the rim, but you're more likely to pinch your tube doing it that way. So turn it over and use it to lever the bead onto the rim. If the tire's really, really hard to fit or you don't have any tire levers at all, then what you can do is put the wheel on the floor and we're going to pull the tire down towards the bottom of the rim to try and pull slack into the tire and that'll make it much easier. Another puncture that you might experience is an impact puncture. Generally, you'll see one, often two parallel cuts from where the tube has been pinched against the rim. Often happen if you've hit a pothole or a curb. Obviously, you're not gonna be looking for anything in your tire in this instance, because yeah, nothing's caused it other than the impact. Once you're happy that you've removed anything sharp from the tire, and you've got your tube in there, then what we need to do is make sure that it's properly fitted. So first of all, we're gonna push the valve up into the rim. What this will do is make sure that the tube's well in the tire at this point. And then we're gonna work our way 
around the wheel, checking the tyre on both sides to make sure that there's no bit of tube trapped beneath either of the beads. Then we can pretty much safely assume that when we inflate the tyre, it's not going to blow up. If we don't check it and anything is trapped, then we're pretty much doomed. With everything fitted, just going to inflate the tyre. Once you're up to your desired pressure, remove the pump, nip up the little lock nut on your valve, and then we're going to check that the tyre is seated correctly. If there's any lumps, or you can see that it's not seated evenly by looking at the, the line which runs around the edge of the tyre here by the rim, if you can see that oscillating, then yeah, it's not fitted properly, and you're better off letting it down and refitting it. You can always overinflate the tyre slightly, and that'll help pop it into place then just reduce the pressure back down to where you want it to be for riding. So finally, just going to refit the wheel. Make sure that when you close the quick release, the wheel's properly seated in the dropout, so pull it up nice and hard. And when you close the lever, it should take a fair amount of force to close it. Reset your brake. And we're ready to hit the road. It's a super simple job, but one that you need to know how to do properly. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers.